like as his as his dude for more than I've for as long as I've been playing competitive Smash. Like he was the Ike player uh, back in Smash Four, perhaps even back in Brawl. Though I don't know if he was playing playing competitively at that time. Uh, Zane though a uh, a bag of tricks. He can play a lot of different characters, so from his classic Duck Hunt, I've seen him do Ice Climbers, uh, Lucas, a lot of the weirder characters, but he's adept at them all, and perhaps we'll see some counterpicking later in the set. Right, he's taking his time, not trying to challenge the big sword of Ike, and he's not going air to air for him if he doesn't have to. We're putting on the pressure regardless. Can I love that down air to the can? Which is it so far away? Yeah, can being more interactable really, despite being a frame one option, since you can just hit it with aerials, grounded tools, anything. Uh, aerials is new to ultimate, as uh, by the way. Uh, it mm -hmm. makes it just a whole lot more of a. It makes it a lot less troublesome, but in the same way, a lot more. It just, it's just awkward. It's one of those moves that's like really awkward to deal with. And uh, that is kind of what makes Duck Hunt such a frustrating character because so many of his tools are like, just a little bit more awkward than you would think. Like Clay Pigeon stays around and he can detonate it whenever. Uh, that nerf, by the way, pretty active. <laughs> Yeah, you know, with, with, with all that said, I think Mega actually probably knows how to navigate around that can because he just got that F tilt for the first kill right after knocking the can mid stage. So it makes me wonder if his kind of flow chart led trapping is going to work out in this specific matchup. Well, not if Zane gets any leads like he does right now. One, one full clay pigeon string and. A couple straight hits later, and 154 is what we're looking at. <laughs> but can he net the kill is the question. Uh, Duckman can have some difficulties with that, but as long as he manages to keep Ike on ledge, it's only a matter of time. That being said, he comes down with the Nair fiercely, and, you know, <laughs> Mega's looking for that kill right <laughs> away. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Duckman is entirely based on his stage control. Once he loses that, like, getting down... And getting out of trouble is, uh, well, trouble some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most definitely. And you, you look at Mega and his extension of the platforms, and it's like, how do you fall down back on the ground from disadvantage from a character like that? And it's just, see that with all this damage. That said, though, uh, Zane taking that stock. See if he can get some extra credit here. I know that uh, a lot of other duck hunt means, namely Raito, what I see is he'll oftentimes take the trade. Like if he's allowed to use can to break a combo or break a break off a situation, like the trade is almost always worth it because mm -hmm. you live instead of you live and you take some damage instead of die or be in a continuous disadvantage. Uh, but Ike kinda doesn't have to care. His sword is just <laughs> that big. <laughs> like he, can, he can hit you and hit the can and he's just fine. So instead of worrying about that, uh, he's relying on Old Faithful, you know, the classic fastfall air dodge, and just making sure he's staying grounded. And, okay, that was, that was actually really nice. It was a very smart kill. Yeah, Zane playing that entire game, like, if he can be on, if he can have all four paws on the floor, he's going to make sure he can do that. He'll hit him a couple rising aerials where then, when they're there, but... Ledge trapping and grounded gameplay. Grounded center stage gameplay was the theme of that uh, that game, and it worked out in great, great spades for Zane as he takes that two stock. Yeah, it worked out beautifully. I, I will say this, however. Um, Mega, I, I think he, he, he's demonstrated this a lot throughout this first game. Um, when you get hit by the can, typically it can be a little bit exhausting trying to get back on stage. But you'll notice that whenever he he gets the uh, can trade, he can just side B towards center stage almost instantly. Like, he just has that advantage as Ike. Like, right here, he's able to side B right to that platform after that can break. So we'll see if we'll take advantage of that going into game two.
in general, I think that's how this matchup plays out. It's like who can get out of disadvantage the fastest. And it seems like when it comes to the can trade, it's Ike. And then when it comes to like, when it comes to up air strings, platform extensions, it seems like Duck Hunt has that in his arsenal. Yeah, Duck Hunt, uh, while. The duck isn't as incredible as a <laughs> massive sword. It is a disjoint in its own right, and mm -hmm. it can be a rather fast one, especially when you're looking at moves like uh, up air. So Zane ended up using them to to counteract the slowness of things like uh, of things like down air, on top of being able to hold the can in place and move uh, uh, move mega where they wanted them to be. Uh, speaking of moving where he wants them to be, look at all this damage. He just threw him in the air, hit him with a couple cans, and now he's suddenly at 104%. Can does so, like, Duck Hunt is not, no shortage of Duck Hunt does, dan does uh, no shortage of damage does Duck Hunt do. And Zane, like, they've been piloting this character for probably the longest. Like, I know they were early Ice Climbers, but... They've been on Duck Hunt for a hot minute, getting some great wins, and showing showing their stuff with the with the dog and the bird. Oh, Candace is always there. So I'm pretty sure they're going to leave. No, no, no. Always there. Frame one. Comes out. There's grenade after grenade, but before grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Okay, I like that. <laughs> like, you're using the throw on it to get through. Come a little bit. The, those Ike nerfs are hitting a little hard right now because Mega is looking for a Nair conversion, but with 128 and now that little bit of rage. Uh, Zane seems to be out of most combo percents. He's gonna have to find something a little bit raw, but it's well, as I say that, the classic the classic comes through. The classic <laughs> raw tilt. <laughs> Look, frame one. And you take a little bit more, but now you don't have to worry about Ike rushing you down. It makes me wonder how effective is down tilt with Ike in this matchup because I haven't really seen that much and I'm curious to know how he's able to use that in neutral because I find that when he's doing these falling airs, Zane is just catching him with the can. I'm curious to know how else he's going to approach aside from the straightforward nair. Yeah, down tilt is obviously a super effective move with Ike, uh, but it can be hard to stay grounded against Duck Hunt thanks to well thanks to these can placements, but more importantly thanks to Gunman. Um, five different gunmen with five different ranges and five different potencies makes you want to just avoid them all entirely, which means you're jumping. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they're, like, forced to the ledge again. There are, they are on even stocks though, so... If it comes to this, I have more faith in Mega's ability as Ike to pilot a, a powerfully rage-induced rage kill than Zane trying to connive his way on a 180% Ike. Connive their way, excuse me. And you, you notice... Hey, ooh, <laughs> 200. Uh, uh, it, it's funny, I was going to compliment Mega kind of just jumping in place, but he actually died for it. You always have to be careful as, he, as Mega gets the early grab. I think he can start getting near to back here too. He might start fishing for that. He typically does roar near, and then he does the back here. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's always trying to get the the late hit since it combos uh, long, for a little bit longer. He's falling out of the window very quickly. Zane making sure to pick their battles, and they're picking their battles pretty well. This is like the previous set, a best of three. And ooh, speaking of threes, we got clay pigeons. <laughs> And speaking of quick, oh, we got that dash five. attack. It's not a best of three, but still got three pigeons. <laughs> right here. Ooh, that was an interesting that was... If that had resulted in a kill, that would have been so good, because the clay pigeon was on the ground, and the mare sent them into that pigeon. 
have to wait. Always mash and be of those combos. <laughs> that was definitely a calculated move on his part. All right, gunman. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yeah, the gunman is. It's a weird. It's it's one of those tools that you would think you would see on a character like Pac-Man, where it's like, oh, that's really awkward. As there's five different. I think yeah, there's five different gunmen, but each it's not a set order. But all five of them have to show up before the rotation resets. So it can be a random one out of five for the first one. One out of four, one out of three, one out of two, then the last one. So on top of paying attention to like just general stage positioning and like what resources you have, where can is, Duckan also has to keep track of where uh, each gunman, like which one has come out and which one has been used so you can set up for longer shots or more powerful blasts. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. I never even thought of that. I'm wondering if he's implementing that in this gameplay here. I've definitely seen uh, Zane go for some uh, pretty insane conversions where they they calculate that like one of two gunmen are left and both of them do, I don't know, one, one of them has a shotgun and he's able to combo shotgun into fair or something like that. Uh, so I've definitely seen Zane have a lot, like, much more awareness of the of the downbeat than um, a variety of other uh, duck hunts, though I've never actually talked to Raito, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Game three. No change of stage. Not going, not trying anything else. Just sticking to PS2. Oh, uh, I wonder if he's going to start doing more jumps from platform to platform because I typically see that when he's trying to evade like instead of jumping in place or just camping onto the platform a uh, mega tries to kind of intimidate his opponent from jumping from plat to plat because he knows that all he has to do is fall to the platform near and get any sort of conversion that he wants all roads lead to near with Ike <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a cross up on that DI uh, holding in to avoid the combo like, Look at all this damage. Like, the can <laughs> really just puts on so much. Look at that. Oh, oh. he's not dead. Ike, Ike's got a little bit of weight to him, but... It's hard to come back from 144 and... In the blink of an eye. Zane finds it themselves uh, with a with a win, or with a stock lead. He just has no way of falling down. Like, it's, it's either can or up air. He just has no way of coming down. Yeah, not falling for any of these baits that uh, Mega is trying to pull him forward with, but he sees nothing wrong with chilling behind his can and his gunman. He's almost uh, taking advantage of it in a way. Like, he knows that Mega is kind of like fishing for that uh, combo starter, so he's interrupting that through these nares, these up airs, these cans. It's really making it difficult for him to get in. Hey, Ooh. okay. That's Finally sad. gets one of those late hit nares, as you mentioned. That was a beautiful late nair. <laughs> Just swat <laughs> that pigeon right. Oh. <laughs> Ike's up down at the shooting range with his, with his dog. <laughs> the dog's rebelling. <laughs> Not wanting any part of this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, funny enough, I actually think that F tilt might have been optimal because it goes through gunman, it goes through frisbee, so it actually might be the main way he wants to approach. I know it's typically a kill move, but it might actually work. Yeah, I oftentimes when I see like where and how duck hunt like falls apart in matchups, it's largely due to uh, characters being able to like get there before he can set up with some sort of hitbox. Because without can, or if you're in the right space to avoid can, uh, Duck Hunt's disadvantage isn't too good. So if you're able to put a hitbox right in right in the proper range, like Clay Pigeon will get destroyed, a can might miss, and you're just leaving this kind of like not super heavy dog to to their demise. You're putting the putting the board boy down. Oh, that was gruesome. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I found I found it humorous, by the way. I. I <laughs> Oh, I'm chock full of dark humor, but you know, Twitch chat may not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have. Alright, good. Uh, Mega is staying secure on that platform. Uh, he knows that if he approaches now, uh, that could just give Zane the opportunity to get some extra credit. Nice, dash tech. Okay, we we're talking about how much control Zane seems to have over this matchup, but whenever Mega seems to get that opening like that's when he's going that's when he's getting so much off of it and it doesn't take much for Ike to get take stocks well if there's anything that Zane has been doing uh, they've been working really hard for their kills uh oh geez. well that was Three. a nice down air oh all oh, right missed it oh that is beautiful is he di it correctly i'm confused uh, i think i think it's two of those clay pigeons are just they're just a thing. Ooh, <laughs> like that's just real. Ah. <laughs> I don't know about the third, but I know for the, I know pigeon does combo into pigeon, though it can be a little bit finicky sometimes. Yet we find ourselves a, at a. It's the percent differential is big, like a whole sixty, almost seventy percent now. Uh, but make no mistake, it's pretty even. Ike doesn't need much, but neither does Duck Hunt. If they, if Zane, as they've been doing all set, putting the can in the right spot to make Mega's life end quickly and just, just the worst. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's beautiful because in a way it kind of is a DI mix-up because we were trying to DI in a way to avoid the can, but you get hit by the can regardless. Then you might actually do some bad DI once you get hit by the can. So I'm really curious to know. Uh, if you really took advantage of that, because it seemed like whenever uh, Mega was thrown into the can on platform, he, he would almost go straight up as opposed to diagonal. And it makes me wonder if he buffered like bad DI because he was trying to hold away and avoid the can in general. It's very interesting. Yeah, I wonder what is the proper way to of DI can and what would be how what would be the tell of which way to DI as I believe it sends you in the direction that can would go when duck hunt taps b so if it's heading to the right it knocks you to the right or maybe it's mm -hmm. dependent on positioning there's a lot i don't know about duck hunt i'm gonna be honest with you not a very common character which would which is what makes zane's play all the more impressive oh definitely definitely